Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming on with on to share with you the most recent artist trading card swap I did with Diane Cross as part of Woolly Steps ATC swap or, or Woolly Steps ATC club I should say. If you're interested in joining in with Woolly Steps swaps, I leave a link to the video in which she advertises them. Now this most recent swap was with Diane Cross who's a lovely lady from the UK and Diane made this. Diane's presentation is excellent and I've learned a lot from her watching her and looking at the way she did this swap. Now she made this lovely envelope which coordinates with the card and the ATC she sent me and the ATC and the card she sent both match and coordinate. Now wait till I show you what I'm talking about. First of all, the card. Here it is. There's layers and layers of work gone into this. Now Diane is famous for her master boards and I leave a link to at least two of her videos in which she does her master boards and shows you how to do them. Like most of it is fast forward forwarded so you won't be sitting there for hours looking at it but Diane is brilliant at these mixed media masterboards and also at doing layers and I can see if I'm sure you can see looking at this the amount of work that went into it there's paint there's stamping there's at least three kinds of um, kind of glitter paste as well she's used glitter paste through a stencil and I can see bronze, gold and um, I don't know is it copper? Well at least three colours and then the sentiment is embossed and you can see the stamp here I think that's supposed to be Latin. God knows I should know I did Latin for five years in school and you can see here she has a lovely dye then to top it off and I think she said in one of her videos this is a dye from Pink Fresh Studios and she seems to have put um, stickles on the dye on the dye dye on the leaves just to give them a bit more texture but it's a beautiful textured card with layers and as I said go and look at Diane's masterboard videos and you will see how she does it and you will get inspiration now that is the card as usual she's written me a message inside but that's private and this is the ATC I'll take this out of the way I'm not using my usual stand today sorry about this folks as you can see it matches the card perfectly the card is or the background is from the same master board and you can see where paper has been torn painted over the layers of stamping and stenciling and the glitter paste now i don't know what glitter paste she used but it has been all put on through a stencil they're bronze copper and then the edging has been done in gold just like the edging on the card you can see the, the gold edging. And there's metallic paint as well. Well, I'm showing you the card again, but there's metallic paint. I'm giving you a close up, just an idea of all the work that has gone into this. And with the card. Sorry about this, folks. I'm going to have to get a new stand. I'm filming on top of two upturned waste paper bins at the moment with a board across the top of them and the die cut the same um, the same technique and the die cut has stickles on it and you can see a lovely butterfly here the butterfly is two layers so a beautiful card and then at the back in the red woods and diane's stamp so please go over to diane's channel and check her out and i'd like to say a big thank you to diane for swapping with me i don't think what i sent her was half or even a quarter as well presented and definitely, I know my video skills leave a lot to be desired, but if you saw the scene here, I'm getting, I'm actually getting a shed built at the moment. I'll be moving all my craft stuff out for, out into it in a few weeks time. So if there was any banging and thumping in the background, that's the lads putting the shed together. So hopefully we will get sorted eventually and I will be back to doing a more decent quality of film in a few weeks. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and a big thanks to Diane for swapping. Bye.